Hey guys, this is Sairaj back with another video. So today I'm going to show you how to sketch in perspective and also I'm going to show you what pencils I use because a lot of you uh, keep asking me the same question. So here are these pencils. So before going on to this video, please subscribe or else I will not play this video. Oh, just just joking. And please don't skip uh, watch the whole video because I'm going to share a lot of secrets and details. These are the best ones you can get. And also these pencils are used widely in lot of uh, car design industries and schools. So this is the Faber-Castell Polychromos. And these are uh, Prismacolor, which I will show you later. Polychromos is basically the best uh, pencil you can get for industrial design sketches. So use this for uh, daily sketching pencil. These are also fine, but uh, I would recommend you Polychromos as, but it's my personal opinion. So just uh, you can buy both of those and check for yourself. So the reason behind me suggesting you this pencil is uh, basically this pencil has a lot of pressure tolerance that means you can go as light as you want and at the same time it will get darkest at a point where you press the hardest so i'm going to show you how this pencil performs okay so you can go from really light pressure and gradually increasing the pressure so you will notice that uh, the render and or the shading which I'm doing is really smooth that's the quality of this pencil so why we use these pencils is because we don't actually use graphite what graphite does is when you press it hard and for like darker shades it uh, gives out a shine when you look at it in light so basically that shine reflects light and it's like uh, really light and even when you try to give a lot of contrast it won't uh, give that feel to your sketch also these pencils will improve your sketching by a lot it will make a lot of difference so so this is a prisma color and this is also a good pencil but uh, the polychromos has a more tolerance than prisma i feel in my personal opinion so and obviously it depends on the in on your hand how much pressure you apply and so basically yeah and one more thing this pencil is a bit on the softer side than the polychromos because I feel the tip of the pencil is uh, I need to sharpen it a lot more than the polychromos. The pigment of this uh, pencil is really soft. But again, if you look at the contrast, you'll get it's the best. It's amazing. Don't go for graphite pencils and use this ones okay so let's start with sketching and uh, now for sketching cars you need to keep in mind that um, the perspective should be right so i'm going to show you how to draw perspective and i'm, I'm going to explain you so what is perspective so we have these vanishing points so what are vanishing points so vanishing points are basically uh, point uh, the spot on the horizon line to which the preceding parallel lines diminish they converge at a point that's the, obviously in a three dimensional space there are basically five point perspectives one point two point and then three four and five but now I will be showing you 1, 2 and 3. Let's not go too deep. So basically in a front view, 
if you see a cube if you draw a cube it will basically look like this if you move the camera a little bit on the top just a little bit then you will be able to see the top side of the cube also so what i did over here is if you try to extend these lines it will meet at a single point so that's the vanishing point now you keep the same point in mind and draw another cube um and extending all these lines to the same point you will get a cube something like this and draw straight lines and again keeping in mind the same point basically anywhere you draw the cube on the paper all the points should always converge at the same vanishing point that's one point perspective so now you know the one point perspective i will show you two point perspective now two point is really easy so you just have two points now is as simple as that so you just have to draw uh, lines joining those points and draw the vertical lines and yeah you will get a cube it depends where your cube is so yeah if you draw it over here oh uh, yeah so in one point the horizontal and vertical lines were uh, at 90 90 degrees but now in two point you need to keep the vertical lines straight but the vertical lines will always converge at the vanishing points so you see you get a cube like this if you uh, draw it over here the vertical lines will remain straight but but yeah again the horizontal ones will converge at a point so now we will see what is three point perspective so basically in three points we have those two points already but we have an additional point at the bottom so now the vertical lines would also converge at uh, the vanishing point so like this join those lines and make those lines converging so this was the horizon at the horizon now the below the one the one below will be something like this you will see the top part more and if you draw it above at above you it will come out something like this obviously you can have the third one third point at the top the bottom will be visible more and at the bottom the top will be visible more so there you have the three point the basics are really important one point and two point now if you want to draw a car it's not really that difficult draw the baseline first and now the vanishing points over here will be outside the paper 
and that's a tricky part but you need to keep the lines parallel to each other so make the baseline and now draw the axle the axle of the wheel that will help you to make the wheel in perspective because after you make the major axis that will be at 90 degree to the axis then draw the wheel draw ellipses now try to make a box over the wheels and the body so, and over on that box construct a DLO DLO is the greenhouse also called the DLO in uh, industrial language So this was basically two point. If you look at it, the vanishing points, these are converging at a really far away point. But this uh, vanishing point is not on the paper. It's really far away. Basically, if you draw a uh, cuboid, start by rectangle, then start uh, joining those, like construct constructing those lines. Sorry. <laughs> uh, so you will get a cuboid in perspective, and over that, inside these box, make axles. So you will be able to draw the wheels. So yeah, and now make the ninety degree major axis for the uh, ellipse. It will help you to make it in an angle. So just make it like this. Now, uh, so now the wheel base. Mm, I need to draw SUV. So I will I will get a wheel base of something around two point five wheels. Uh, if you want to draw a sedan, then three wheels, obviously make the baseline make start drawing the hood hood part the front fascia but start by making a um, nice kind of boxy car afterwards you can always um, make the lines curve as per your uh, design and make a rough volume uh, outline of a rough volume so draw the wheels and always uh, draw the ground plane the ground plane is re really necessary to show how your car is looking in perspective it gives a base strong base stability to your to your sketch And if you look at an SUV, uh, you have a good amount of wheel arches. That is, wheel arches is the gap between uh, wheels and the body. So you have the suspension travel distance, and it's it's prominent because if you don't show, then your SUV won't look uh, a good SUV. So these these are small detailed uh, proportion mistakes which lot of you guys do. So don't restrict your hand like from year to year. No, just uh, flow your hand. Be confident while putting strokes. Don't worry if your strokes are going outside uh, or uh, not perfect. But but uh, by practice, you will always get them perfect at some point. Just um, make your hand flow. Be confident while sketching. Don't fear. So this is the cross-section line, this is the y-axis. These two lines are really important to show the volume of the car. And
so now the tip of view or also called the bird eye view it's a really tricky view but i will make it easy and show you so over here uh, on the suv we made the axis really uh, parallel to the ground like close to the ground but but on the perspective uh, like tip up uh, perspective you may you need to make the axis really slant so for if you look at it from the top something like this uh, meeting at a uh, far away vanishing point so make the axis and make the wheels so now you get an idea how the car is going to look and start constructing the body uh, roughly so the trick to this is roughly make the volume roughly make the how the dl is going to be and the windshield and the bonnet line front line so yeah and now try to draw the width close the volume so this is basically closing the volume so now your overall volume is uh, made now start giving details to your sketch so what you are doing is making the making the final lines which you want and ignore ignore the lines which are wrong yes you will make make mistakes also i have made mistakes uh, but with practice you will be able to make it perfect so so after adding the details make the y axis which is the most important line and now make the headlights so over here uh, i'm darkening the headlights because i want to give it an emphasis on the sketch so make a grill grill shape and uh, now now make use of line quality so what is your line quality so over here what i'm doing darkening the lines making them look dynamic and giving it a flow and an emphasis this is called line quality so the key to getting a perspective right is uh, practice and only practice so there is no shortcut just practice a lot so now uh, wait i will show you the prisma color so those of you who like prisma color for them I'm making this uh, sketch for them so this is a bird uh, another bird eye view um, just start by making the wheels wheel axles and make the wheels first roughly construct the um construct the box and try to make the volume what is the volume so basically volume is uh, the width the uh, length and the height of the car so what what is volume of cube it's length into width into height so that's basically that's same for the car but in proportions proper proportions always uh, remember to draw the construction lines if you draw it without the construction lines um it's it's not that good but because uh, sketches are usually made rough and raw the if you do a lot of clean sketches then i think those would be, would be called illustrations so designers don't do illustrations they always sketch raw basically we are sketching to denote our uh, idea and to communicate with the person not to make it look uh, fancy or cool 
but yeah you need to make your sketches proper they should be proper so okay so i changed the wheels a little bit they were looking a little bit uh, off proportionate uh, so yeah now make the cross section lines um, and and also the y axis which is really important um, and uh, just a spoiler over here it's not necessary but i like to draw spoilers it looks cool So this is a basic idea of uh, perspective, and yeah, I, you can make mistakes. Even I, I have made uh, proportion mistakes. So that's not an issue, but you have to practice a lot. Thank you, guys. Please subscribe.